This is a Collins 75A4 I just uh, completed refurbishing. Just thought I'd give a little demonstration. It's only been switched on for about five minutes, but um, it's on 40 meters using an active loop antenna, just an internal active loop antenna, small one. So uh, no particularly good antenna. Six kilohertz filter, two point one kilohertz filter, five hundred hertz filter. It's on slow AGC because it's a sideband signal. S band tuning. Noise limiters off at the moment. There's no uh, noise interference. Ejection notch. Manual RF gain control. See the rejection notches bang on the centre of the passband. Just a brief demo on uh, AM on the 160 meter band. It does get the uh, top end of the broadcast band, of course. Here it goes, tunes down to 1.5 megahertz, the bottom end here. Two point one kilohertz uh, filter is just a bit too narrow for AM. Perfect for sideband. I'll just also give a demonstration of the um, calibrator. Mm -hmm. 
office. Okay, give me this say. So, 80 meters, it's... So it's been on for about 10 or 15 minutes now, so it's still warming up. We're about 400 hertz, maybe 600 hertz out there. Hertz out at the center of the band. It's almost exactly on at that point there. And it does vary a little bit between the bands because of the um, crystal frequency. The 160 meter band doesn't use uh, the first local oscillator crystal frequency, so. Doesn't have a problem with that. It's uh, maybe about a hundred hertz high there. About the same there. About three hundred. It's difference there. Depends on exactly where you put the fiduciary pointer, of course. So it's uh, it's pretty pretty accurate on the calibration. So it's been on about 15 minutes, so it's not really enough time for it to warm. It takes about 45 minutes to an hour to warm it fully and fully stabilizes. And I found it actually stabilizes about a hundred hertz higher than the switch on frequency at you know, room temperature. Um, so that's it. The antenna trim is only really useful on the, uh, the higher couple of 10 meter bands, 11, 10. 10 meter there. It doesn't have much effect on the low bands really at all. And everything else uh, worked great. It's a really nice receiver with a matching speaker. And the uh, matching transmitter and power supply are sitting uh, in storage here uh, waiting to be refurbished as well so that should be uh, quite a bit of fun. So there we go, Collins 75A4 handbands receiver. This one was made in around about 1956. This uh, 75A4 has now been on for about an hour. I just thought I'd uh, do another check on the dial calibration. So I've got the calibrator on. It's on the 160 meter band range. We're tuned to the 1.5 megahertz um, uh, mark on the dial and the error. Is less than a hundred hertz there. Loud. <laughs> There's no real detectable error there at all. One point six. Yeah, there's probably about 50 hertz, maybe. <laughs> Zero error there. Zero error at 1.9. Zero error at 2. Zero two point one. Maybe very slight error there. Twenty thirty hertz, maybe. <laughs> Again, 
again, maybe in her of um, hundred hertz at the most there. There, there, maybe fifty hertz. And finally, at the uh, high end of the band, two point five megahertz. Error there of maybe 100, 150 hertz, all of which can be um, compensated for by turning the zero set mark, which is uh, significant. So there we are. This um, the PTO in this receiver is uh, tuned better than factory spec. Took a little bit of doing. Um, I did it this morning. Uh, not using the Collins method, I use a, a method um, which takes a bit longer, but I believe is far more accurate and reliable. I described on my Facebook page, and uh, I am writing an article on the refurbishment of this receiver, which will be eventually posted to the uh, Spark um, Radio Museum. So probably in about a couple of weeks time <coughs> it's uh, June the 10th today uh, 2024 mm -hmm.